certainly pleased with uh, with the effort of our team uh, this past weekend. Uh, six periods that uh, consisted of uh, you know a lot of battles. Uh, I don't know if you say it in the women's game or not, but it, it was a physical series. We're not allowed to check, but uh, if you watched any of the games or any of the periods, uh, it was a physical game. It was a battle. It was very tight uh, checking. Um, and uh, very pleased yesterday with uh, with the opportunity that we had late in the game on a power play and, and to have Emily scored uh, obviously helped us win the game. But, uh, you know, from her standpoint, uh, you know, her parents for the first time had we're in Madison, uh, got a tour of, uh, of our area, of where Emily lives, uh, a real chance to connect dots as far as Emily on her phone telling her parents what Madison and her world is all about, but for them to be able to come down and connect dots and uh, see her score the winning goal yesterday, I know it was a special day for her and her family. And uh, those are moments that, uh, that you enjoy and certainly we enjoyed this past weekend and uh, you know, take today off and then get ourselves prepared for St. Cloud uh, Saturday and Sunday. Is women's hockey getting more and more physical? Well, if you watch those six periods, uh, it, it, it was physical. Uh, but you know, it, it, it's part of the involvement and, you know, and different teams are going to play different ways. Uh, you know, and, uh, you know, North Dakota had some big bodies. They played aggressive. They tried to play the game fast. They did a very good job at it. And so when kids are moving on the ice uh, at a pretty good clip and they're battling for the puck, uh, there's only one puck and, and somebody's got to come up, up with it. And so there's some collisions and there's some things that are going to happen within the game. And you just have to, you know, be prepared and, and be ready to to battle in, and we talk about it as coaches, uh, you know, there's a lot of 50-50 battles, so if you and I are battling for the puck, one of us has to come up with it, and uh, if I'm able to do it as a team, uh, you know, more than you are, generally we're going to have that puck more, and we can create some more things, so it's a big part of the game, and and certainly, uh, you know, St. Cloud, you know, brings to sort of the same type of uh, team in there, they've got some big bodies, they'll try to play aggressive in certain areas, so uh, I know our players, uh, they probably were feeling a little bit today more so than we play some other teams. Was it a point of pride heading into the series because they had handed you their lone loss or were the girls just taking it just like any other game, just trying to play better? Well, I'm sure it was in the back of their mind, uh, you know, but as coaches, uh, you know, you look at video, look at what they uh, maybe have done the previous weekend in their games or line combinations and, uh, you know, try to prepare them and do the things in practice to give them the best chance to win. And so those things you'll look at. Uh, I'm not a big number guy or those type of things. So um, you're looking for the overall way we're playing and how we're playing and are we doing the things the right way. Jeff. Mark, you mentioned the physical nature of the game despite not being able to check. Would you mind seeing checking allowed in the women's game or do you think the game is fine without it? I think it's fine without it. I mean, you talk to our fans, you talk to people that watch, uh, you know, the women's game on a regular basis. They enjoy the skill part of it. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think if we brought in the in checking, it would just change our game dramatically. And, uh, you know, I'm not in favor of it. 